It's obviously the main reason we came this morning was to see this lad, Kalashnikov. We saw him doing a little bit of trotting this morning. How long has he been back and uh, how much work has he done at the moment? He's been back in about a month, but he's actually, you know, he had two weeks on the walker and then he's in his second week of trotting. So, uh, no, he's, uh, he's, he's doing well and delighted with, with how he's done over the summer. Obvious question to ask, but physically, um, how well has he done t- to your eye? Yeah, I mean, listen, he was a big, weak horse last year and, um, you know, he's, he's 16-3 and he takes every bit of fill in his frame, which he, he's done really well over the summer, especially with the summer we've been blessed with. Um, you know, they couldn't have had, had, had better weather and they came in just at the right time before we lost all the grass. So, um, no, he's, he's strengthened and, and, and physically looks really well. Yeah, he does look well, I can testify to that. Before we move on to this upcoming season, if you just touch on last year, of course, brilliant campaign. As you well know, I've been a fan of the horse since he won his bumper at Weatherby and I've been pestering it ever since about him. He obviously started the season back at Weatherby last year and just went from strength to strength and obviously Newbury being the highlight. Oh God, yeah, I mean, he was absolute star for us uh, last year, especially a small team. You know, we, were only our, we were only in our second season, so to have a horse of his calibre was um, was brilliant and uh, he didn't let us down, you know, to to, to run in, in three, you know, a grade one, a Bedford hurdle and then a grade one again within three months um, and and run to the absolute best of his ability every time was uh, fantastic. And, you know, I still believe, um, you know, he's such a good mover. I think he's much better on better ground. So the fact that two of those are in heavy ground um, is a testament to his his will to want to win. Yeah, we haven't really, as you said, you've touched upon his pedigree suggests as well that he will be better with a nicer surface. It was always the plan straight after Cheltenham's put him away. Um, and is it penciled in now he'll go straight over fences? Yep, yeah, no, he'll go he'll go straight uh, novice chasing this season. Um, although when I watched uh, a split screen of the Supreme and the Champion Hurdle the other day, um, it did uh, tempt me for two seconds. But no, I mean, physically, as you can see, you know, he's a huge, big chaser in the making. And um, I think that's probably where his, where his future is going to lie, definitely. 